Um, hello? Yamaoka-san, is that you? I'm from Mismatch. Chiaki. Huh? Mismatch? Chiaki? Yes, um, the dating app. Yamaoka-san, you're not him. Uh, uh, no. Sorry? Huh. It's just... You've got scruffy hair and a beard, and you're at the right spot. Um, excuse me. Are you... Oh, you must be Yamaoka-san. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had the wrong person. Hey, <laughs> no problem. Glad you both made it. Nice to meet you, Yamaoka-san. If I may say, you're taller than I thought. chiaki san pleasure's mine. You're even cuter than your pictures. Aw, that's sweet of you. So, let's head somewhere? Sure. Wow, you really are my type from the looks of it. Miss Match doesn't miss. Right? Miss Match is like your very own Cupid. <clears throat> Sounds kind of interesting. Miss Match, huh? Who is she? Why, hello there. Whoa! Etiquette? Whoa. Isn't a very nice way to greet a lady. Sorry about that. Uh, are you Miss Match? Call me Machiko, the legendary Hawaiian fortune teller. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm uh, Ichiban Kasuga. You with me? Sorry, it's just that couple. Miss Match helped them meet, they were saying. That's impressive. You must really be psychic or something. Don't get excited. It's all a load of hokum. I used to run a showy market stall, and all I got were skeptics and bastards. Good. A hokum? Of course. If I could really see the future, I'd get rich on the stock market, not run this thankless scam. Uh, but, but those two were thanking you, weren't they? <laughs> they were thanking this. What is it? <laughs> a dating app. I designed it myself. You did? Mm-hmm. Look, the app's named after me, Miss Match. Dating by divination. Oh, it really is. The name's what sold it. I'm Miss Match, the matchmaker. Branding is everything. Oh, yeah. So, uh, sorry, but what's a matchmaking app? <laughs> Where have you been? You've never tried online dating? Guess not. I'm bad with tech stuff. A dating app is... Well, it helps you find a romantic partner. Someone to go out with. You enter your preferences and the app finds compatible people near you. That's the long and short. Of course, you can always take the initiative and message whoever you like. It's just a way to mingle. I think I see. So, you, you contact people you're interested in, and then what happens? You talk to one another, see if there's any chemistry. If so, then you meet in person. Happens all the time. Dating apps exist because meeting in the real world is harder than ever these days. They're how people make connections now. What happens when you meet? That depends on the meeting, obviously. Usually, it's just a simple first date. You see if there are sparks, or the shits. Some couples end up married before long. Some kids are only in it for you know what. Takes all kinds. Uh, you, oh, you know what? Oh, did that get you interested? No, um, not like that. Anyway, your app sounds really useful. It's not what I'd imagined I'd do with my life, to be sure. The fortune telling business wasn't enough though. I wanted to give people romantic advice face to face. But young people these days do everything online. Had to keep up, you know. It's just not fashionable anymore to get your love line read by an old woman. A monthly subscription to an app, though. <laughs> Learning to code was hell, but worth it. I got to use my experience finding people's soulmates, and revenue is good. That's a hell of a story. Wow. Of course, the story's not over yet. The app's still in beta. There are quite a few bugs. What's a beta? Ah, you wouldn't be familiar, would you? It's like a trial run before the product's finished. Eventually, the app will be released worldwide.
but until it's completely ready, it's only functional in Hawaii. Wow. The limited scope has made it harder to get people to sign up. Strangely, we're particularly low on men. The bigger the user base, the easier it is to know what needs improvement. I really must focus on recruitment. Say, what about you? Would you try it out? What? Me? Sure. You seem romantically illiterate, and your eyes went wide at the thought of you-know-what. A perfect candidate. Hey, come off it, lady. <clears throat> you know what's not what I'm in it for. Besides, I got my heart set on someone special. No way I can start fooling around on her. <laughs> oh, there it is. The telltale words of the adult virgin. Utterly textbook. That's a mindset that repels women, you know. I suppose this special someone has yet to reciprocate your attention. Huh? How did you know that? Did you read my fortune? I told you that's bullpucky. Trust me. I don't need clairvoyance to see your cold streak. Precious are and you know what they say. There's no better way to catch someone's eye than to seem out of reach. What? What's that mean? Picture this. At the store, do you buy one tuna sashimi that's going untouched, or another kind that's flying off the shelves? I get the popular one. <laughs> Who wouldn't? And right now, you're a reject cut of tuna boy. If you want to win her heart, you need to spruce up. Would you date a butcher who goes, my tuna may smell rank and look nasty, but it'll devote itself to you if you try it. Well, some people might find pure love attractive. And, wait, am I the tuna or, or the butcher? Ah, uh, you're hopeless is what you are. Say you're right, and pure love is what you can offer. How's that worked out for you so far? Uh, not that well, I guess. There you have it. I may not be psychic, but your future is as plain as day. You'll dry up old and alone, never getting the girl or sowing your oats, cared for only by the hospice nurses. No! That can't happen! Come on! What should I do? Help me! <laughs> I already told you, dear. Sign up for my service. Use it to experience the highs and lows of dating. Let every encounter refine you. That's the way to become a man worth dreaming of. The kind of man she wants. But I I'd be talking to other women, wouldn't I? Isn't that like cheating on her? Is your brain even functioning? You can't cheat on her if you're not dating in the first place. Honestly, you're like a little boy in a middle-aged body. You haven't got the prerequisites to cheat. Oh, I'm just getting depressed now. No, listen. The best thing for you would be to talk to women, as many as you can. Polish yourself up into a proper man. Just think of it as readying yourself for the one you truly love. Understand? You really th Honestly, try it out for yourself. That'll be more effective than anything I tell you, right? Yeah. Oh, well, if it's just one try. Great. Come with me. We'll step into my office.
You can change your icon here. Don't hold back. Spend that cheddar. Thanks so much. You can edit your profile here. Too shabby. It's a match. Okay, let's score a date. Yoroshiku. What do I say?
Let's go with this. I need to choose a good response. Can't go wrong with this one. I need to choose a good response. That works. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. can resist stickers. Did the trick. Alright, 
Let's pull out all the stops. I need to choose a good response. That works. Not bad. to finally meet. <laughs> Took you long enough. Keep it in your pants, Gramps. Today was a learning experience. How was it? Your first taste of a dating app? Uh, sheesh. I, I think I lost track of time. Uh, and I never realized how hard it is to sound appealing in conversation. Isn't it? You may think you know yourself well, but it all collapses when you try to communicate that to someone else. When it's all text, you haven't got the leeway to convey what you can through appearance and tone. Every word you choose matters. What we say reflects who we are, and vice versa. A dummy will always sound dumb. A prick only speaks prickish. Words are mirrors. They lay you bare uncompromisingly. So really, unlike traditional ways, dating apps let you see the true nature of a person much more quickly. I understand. Words are mirrors. The way you speak reveals the man you are. Oh ho! Beginning to see things more clearly, I take it. Yeah, I... Uh, I might have said some not-so-great stuff to that girl I like. At the time, I thought I was just expressing how I felt sincerely. Now I get that it may have been too much. Maybe the words I chose ended up driving her away. Oh, I get it. It's not enough just to be sincere. You, you gotta make sure the person actually understands you. That you're reaching them. I think you're growing up a bit. It'll be all right. Use the app and practice self-reflection. With time, you'll figure out how to express yourself effectively. You're not a bad guy, just a little too naive. Once your communication skills improve, I bet that girl will take notice of you. Think so? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am a fortune teller, after all. <laughs> well, don't jinx it now. Cards on the table. I had planned on charging you a premium fee to sign up. But you changed my mind. I'm interested in where your journey takes you. I'll waive the price of registration. Oh, seriously? Yes. Your user data will be worth more than that anyway. <laughs> Plus, you don't look like you're good for the money. I appreciate it. Now, don't get me wrong. That doesn't mean the whole thing's free. The app runs on microtransactions. The more you pay, the easier it is to find new matches. Generally, the most attractive users do just fine. But everybody else has to pony up. And I can't cover you that much. Hold on. You gotta spend to find more matches? What kind of scam's that? Boy, that's your virginity talking again. Only idealistic children mistake business for volunteer work. Keeping an app updated isn't free. Somebody has to pay the light bulb man. Free to install doesn't mean free to enjoy. Young folks today want the whole kit and caboodle without giving one red cent. And the internet reviews? It's a showboat of entitlement. People put no money in, then start screaming, dead app, and demanding these apologems. Do they have any idea how hard it is to make money anymore? 
in this economy? Damn, gotcha, addicted brats. What the hell are you talking about? Ah, uh, forget it. Just venting a little. Never mind that. Keep at it like we said, and the matches will come. You want to win over the girl of your dreams? Learn the language of love in Hawaii and return home a conquering hero. Yeah, I will. <laughs>